take a look. The all new 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro is here. And I am at this first drive event just outside of Plano, Texas to see exactly what it's capable of. Toyota prepared this trail to show off all of the technologies, all of the new hardware that is underneath the Sequoia, including, of course, the tires, the suspension, and the powertrain. So let's hit the trail and see what it can do. The fully boxed steel frame that underpins the new Sequoia, which is an all-new vehicle, in fact, is very similar to the one underneath the Toyota Tundra. However, the Sequoia is shorter. It's about 122 inch wheelbase versus 145 inches, for example, in the crew cab short bed Tundra. But the powertrain is the same. All Sequoias for 2023 come with a hybrid powertrain system. They call it iForce Max, 437 horsepower and 570 pound-feet of torque. That really tor uh, torquey powertrain is going to be important during the climbs today. The first section has to do with this really steep climb. And by that I mean about 20-25 degrees. And now I'm ready for the moguls. The new Sequoia is very, very closely related to the new Toyota Tundra. They share a lot, specifically the fully boxed new frame design. Um, the Sequoia is quite a bit shorter. The wheelbase in the Sequoia is about 22 to 23 inches shorter than the Tundra Crew Cab short bed. So it has the breakover angle that may be a little bit superior to the Tundra. Uh, but of course, this is the TRD Pro, so it also has a special Fox shock suspension. These are the 2.5s, and here I am climbing the side tilt and really flexing it. And yes, this course has been prepared by Toyota. This is the first drive, like I was saying. So technically, the Sequoia should not get stuck here because this is the first drive event. But we'll be doing a lot more video reviews for you uh, from Colorado. And here, I'm kind of demonstrating it, getting a little bit hung up, but I also have the benefit of a locking rear differential. Here we go. And now, with the rear locker, I can just easily, nice and easy, cruise through this, show off a little bit of balancing on two wheels, and continue along my way. And what I think is impressive is that even though this truck has front sway bar and rear sway, anti sway bar, uh, because you want a nice level ride on the highway, it still allows for a good amount of articulation. Here's some of the other numbers you need to know 23 degrees of approach, 20 degrees of departure, 9.1 inches of ground clearance. Yeah, those are the specs on the new TRD Pro and approximately 44 and a half foot turning diameter. Those numbers may not be on top of charts as far as on paper, but I think you might be surprised how good the Sequoia can actually be. So in this course, I'm also using the crawl control system because the TRD Pro offers it. And take a look here. It has up to five different speeds. So I can go from low two, which is basically super slow, to low to mid to high to high two. So I will be doing uh, most obstacles in low one and sometimes switching to mid. So let me try mid right now. So basically all I'm doing is my feet are not touching the brake or the gas. So let me go to high two here and the transition. And now all I'm doing is steering. And also I have the benefit of, of course, 360 degree cameras. That's towards the back my hitch, my front, or this composite view right here. I can also switch it here, and those are my front tires. So what it's doing is it's actually remembering, the camera is remembering what it's seen, and it's projecting a little bit more of the terrain that's below me. 
Under the hood of the new Sequoia, actually all of the new Sequoias for 2023 is a hybrid powertrain. It combines a twin turbocharged V6 three and a half liter gasoline engine and combines it with an electric motor, 10 speed automatic. And it's, it's kind of a new thing for Toyota, but also of course the Tundra uses the same. Um, very torquey, 570 pound-feet of torque and 437 horsepower and here I am climbing this rocky section so this of course traction is very important so tires come into play and I'm gonna go as slowly as I can and I can also use uh, the crawl control system and basically only steer so I'm gonna leave it in low and I'm gonna take go for a swim <laughs> my parking sensors are going off again and I can see the water actually <laughs> in the cameras surrounding the vehicle so it's kind of a slow water crossing here And actually, for this terrain, I have enough clearance. It's 9.1 inches of ground clearance. So it's not class leading. But still good. Now it's time for some higher speed driving. The chief engineer, Mike Swears, uh, specifically told us, a uh, journalist, that the Fox suspension underneath the TRD Pro Sequoia, as with other TRD Pro models, is meant for higher speed. So they have allowed me to go a little bit higher on this course. So let me accelerate and do a little bit of, a, shall we say, well, kind of rally-ish. What the Fox shocks allow you to do is it allows you to carry speed you know, even 40 miles an hour and still have great control. I feel like I can lean in this big SUV, I can lean it into corners, just slide it gently, and it's just behaving very predictably and it's there's no jarring hits. The shocks are not bottoming out. So that's uh, that's kind of what you like to see. The electrical components like the battery, the inverter, I warrantied up to about 100k, uh, 100,000 miles. And then the battery, the nickel, nickel battery for the hybrid system is warranted to up to 150,000 miles. Ooh, I could do this all day. The new TRD Pro combines off-road capability as you have just seen with a luxurious interior, lots of technology and also safety equipment for everyday use and space for seven people and also capability to tow quite a heavy trailer. I have another video on TFL truck that's going to be about towing. And all of that comes with the price of course, all the luxury features, nice interior, etc. Starting price, actually the only price for the four-wheel drive TRD Pro is 76000 800 bucks before destination charges. So it's getting close to that $78,000 price tag, which is quite pricey, but it's pretty competitive against the Tahoe Z71, the Expedition Timberline, and several other off-road full-size three-row SUVs. It's gonna go on sale in the fall of 2022, and you can find everything automotive at alltfl.com, including motorcycles, cars, trucks, and the rest. Thanks.